Hello, my name is Yan Liang, also L2XY2. Today I'm going to show you the carbon nanotube generator. Uh, the control of this generator is uh, very straightforward. First, you get a carbon nanotube index control, that is the N and the M number here. So right now, N is equal to 10 and then M is equal to 0. So what you get is a 10 0 nanotube. It's actually a zigzag nanotube. So let's do a quick render here. So something like this. If you increase the M number, uh, you get a uh, Caro nanotube, something like this. You can keep increasing the M number until M is equal to N. What you get is a 1010 nanotube, which is actually an armchair nanotube. Another quick render here. Okay, so you can also control the length of the nanotube by increase the count here. Basically, you double the length of the nanotube. You can also triple the length, make it really, really long if you like. But I'll keep it to one right now for the demonstration. Um, and also, I'll keep it to uh, 10 0 uh, zigzag nanotube. Okay, and then here you can control the radius of the nanotube, maybe make it smaller, do another render, something like this. And also you can control the segments, we reduce the segments. But when you do a render, you still get a uh, perfect, you get perfect spheres. So this number is only for uh, optimize the viewport performance. I'll keep it to 12 right now. And then lastly, this bending control is pretty interesting. So uh, let's go to uh, perspective view. So this is our nanotube. And then the bending is uh, at 360 degree. So we get a perfect nanotube. And then if you decrease this number, basically you open up the, uh, the nanotube and then transform it to a uh, graphing seed at zero degree. So this is a perfect 2D graphing seed. So basically by animating this parameter, you can uh, animating the transformation from graphing seed to nanotube or from nanotube to graphing seed, something like this. All right. And finally, you can control the material of this carbon atom. Right now, it's only a uh, color channel activated. You can add maybe reflection, transparency, if you like, make it look uh, make interesting, look interesting. Um, so we can do that. Finally, I need to point out that uh, all the carbon atoms are generated by a single cloner object, that is an uh, item cloner here. So you can add all the uh, mole graph effectors to this uh, carbon atom, such as maybe a formula effector, to generate a really interesting effects using this uh, carbon nanotubes. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this demo video. Uh, I hope you like it and then you enjoy playing uh, uh, with this uh, nanotube clone. All right, bye bye.